Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn Then Code. So in this video, we're going to talk about AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So without any delay, let's start with this. So for this video, we have the following agenda. What is AWS Solution Architect Associate exam? Who should take it? And some frequently asked questions like, I do not have any prior experience on AWS. Should I go for it? And how long should I prepare? or what are some good resources for the preparation? And uh, is it really worth it to take the exam? And can I get a job after passing the exam? I've received all such kind of questions. So I thought to make a video and answer all of the um, frequently asked questions and help you all understand what the certification is all about. And is it really worth it to take the exam? So to get all the answers of these questions, please watch it till the end. So first question was, what is AWS Solution Architect Associate exam? So just to begin with, this exam is for those individuals who have one or more years of hands-on experience with AWS, designing cost-efficient, fault-tolerant, and scalable distributed systems on AWS. This is an associate level AWS certification in which you will have 130 minutes. As you can see here, the cost is 150 USD, which would be around 11K plus in INR and the length would be 130 minutes to complete the exam. Format would be 65 questions and they could be either single choice or multiple choice questions. Now, the basic understanding of having AWS skills and then if you could validate them through these certifications, I believe it's a good option to go for. This certification helps you to validate your AWS skills and to validate the ability to actually design and implement the distributed systems on AWS. You can take this exam at your home or uh, by visiting the uh, test center also. So it's up to you um, uh, which one you prefer. Next is who should take this exam? This exam, I would suggest for anyone who has one or more years of AWS experience, then surely you should go for this exam to at least validate your skills. And it helps the organizations to identify those candidates and reach out to them. Next is what does it takes to earn the certification? I can share my experience. When I was prepping for this um, certification, I used three sources. I used AWS white papers, AWS blogs, and uh, AWS exam guide. So this is the exam guide that you can download from here and uh, you should definitely go, go through it at least once and download the sample question papers also. They both will give you an idea about what this certification is all about and what kind of questions you can expect. So start from here. Now the second resource that I used was a Cloud Guru course. I think it was good to get a at least get an understanding of all the services. If someone has no prior knowledge or no prior experience on AWS, then I highly uh, suggest to go through that course and uh, you know get a brief understanding of AWS services. And one uh, more thing that I would uh, mention here is that this certification is an associate level certification, which means that it doesn't require you to have a deep understanding of each and every service. That is not the purpose of the certification. Rather, the main purpose of this uh, certification is for you to have a wide and have a, a broader understanding of all the uh, services and understand how to use each and every service in building and architecting a solution for the customer. So don't try to get a deep understanding of any particular service, rather try to have a broader understanding of each and every service. For example, what does a Dynamo DB do or what is it used for and how can we use it in different, different use cases. So that kind of understanding of every major service in the different domains, for example, in database, in networking, in um, suppose web solutions. So try to uh, practice and get an understanding of all the services in this manner. That would help you to pass the certification. The third source that I used was uh, WizLab test series. So going through a course is good and uh, it would help you to get an understanding of all the services, but to clear the certification, to pass the certification, it is very important that you should 
train yourself in such a way that you could answer the questions, right? If you're preparing for an, an, any entrance exam, that one advice that every teacher would give you is to go through the previous year questions, right? Or go through some uh, test questions so that they would help you to prepare for the actual exam. So similar way, this is a very um, important exam and certification and no one would want to waste their 150 USD um, for sure. So before taking the actual exam, I would highly suggest you to go through or at least take some mock test series. I used uh, Vizlev's test series, which really helped me during that time. And it gave me a really good idea of how to actually think about those questions and think about the uh, um, solutions. And also the other benefit of those uh, test series is that they give you a very good explanation of why we are using a particular service and why not the other service. So this kind of understanding is very helpful during the actual exam. So yeah, these are the three things that I used. One is the AWS white papers and um, blogs and documentation. Next is a cloud guru course. I've heard some good reviews of Udemy course also. So you can also take that. Next is um, any mock series. I used WizLab a test series so I could watch for that but you can surely take any other good test series it's up to you so these three are the resources which i used now aws has made many other resources and we, which are available on this official page so you can also go through them they really help you in your preparation so you can go through the exam guide you can go through the uh, sample questions and also the exam readiness so this training is kind of an overview of the exam and the questions that you can expect how to eliminate the different options and uh, how to you know think through the question and solution so this exam uh, readiness training you can take for one or two day uh, of the exam so that would really help you now next i want to talk to you about newton school which is a great platform in terms of learning and developing your skills like full stack development and they help you prepare for your dream company and without paying any upfront fees which is great, right? They will help you to build your tech career for the dream companies because they have partnered with 700 plus companies all over the world. And they do not charge anything upfront from you. The students are already been placed in various companies like Google, Zomato, Nika, and many more. So I would highly suggest you to please check out their website and take their courses for free because they're doing a great job in helping students getting good jobs in the industry and building a good tech career in the IT domain. They also have this amazing full stack web course, which would really help you if you'd like to learn the full stack development and you don't have to pay any upfront fees for this course. You would only have to pay them after you get your dream company job. So, which is great, right? So do check out their website. I'll add all the necessary links that are required in the description below. Now let's move to some frequently asked questions. First is, I do not have any prior experience on AWS. Should I go for it? Um, I would suggest yes. So if you do not have any experience with AWS, I think try to uh, take some time, maybe six months or uh, seven, six or seven months and uh, prepare yourself, take courses and uh, get some hands-on experience on AWS and then go for uh, the exam. That would be the best way to, I think, prepare for, uh, for the exam. Next is how long should I prepare? So if someone who has prior experience as in uh, one year or maybe uh, more than that, then it should generally uh, take uh, three or four weeks of preparation to clear the certification. So that should be enough. This is an average time that people, uh, you know, take. Next is what are the good resources for preparation that I've already covered? So three sources that I shared, which is official documentation, some good course such as a cloud guru uh, course and the third is mock test series which is absolutely uh, important and uh, mock test series is one thing that i would highly recommend you next is is it worth it to take the exam absolutely yes and uh, can i get a job after passing the exam no i'm not saying that uh, uh, having the certification will get you a job that's not the case but you may get a call from the HR. Basically, the idea is organizations always look for those candidates 
who can showcase and validate their skill set okay so basically the certification will give you the edge over other candidates they see you as a potential candidate who has the right skill set and uh, they reach out to you so basically these certifications helps you to at least open the door and then once you get the call from the recruiter i think that's up to your performance during the interview how it goes if you're able to actually showcase your skill set or if you're able to perform well that's all up to you but yes it is absolutely worth it in the current market so yeah my suggestion would be surely uh, it is worth taking the exam you can also see in the jd some job descriptions as well for example the skill set is mentioned but uh, as a side note recruiters do mention that if you have so and so certification then it's a plus so you can see right it's a plus in your overall resume and in your overall experience so it's not a bad thing to have a certification this was all for this video i hope it was worth it and i hope you all liked it so if you liked it give a thumbs up and do subscribe the channel do let me know if you have any other queries regarding this certification i'll surely help you and answer all the questions in the comments thank you